Hey, how are you everyone? I hope you're doing fantastic. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, as you notice, there's no stream on Twitch today, and I'm going to explain why. I did plan to stream, and then Loki kind of forgot it was like a holiday, and like that I'd rather take the day off. <laughs> but also, we have something to talk about. We have something to talk about. It's kind of like an announcement, I guess. Let's just jump into it. As you all know, I have been streaming on Twitch for a year now. We just celebrated our one year and it was amazing. It was fantastic. A lot of people came out and it was a really fun, fun time. I love streaming on Twitch. I think it's really fun. I've really loved streaming a lot more than I thought I would. I love interacting with you all. And the reason I started streaming was really to complement the content that I have on my ASMR gaming channel. And you might be like, well, it's not ASMR content when you're streaming. And you're right, it's not. That's why it was kind of a compliment. It was kind of like, they're both gaming themed and one is relaxing gaming and the other one is just me hanging out and gaming and chilling with you all live and kind of a way for you all to get to know me a little better instead of just pre-recorded videos. That was the goal with streaming. But I think I kind of made a bit of like a judgment error and I actually feel really bad because I feel like I might've, like I accidentally alienated a lot of my YouTube um, viewers by going to a different platform to stream essentially. And it was a really big decision. I went back and forth on which platform I wanted to be streaming on, whether it was on YouTube or on Twitch. It was a really big decision and I weighed like the pros and cons for a long time. Every time I looked at videos of people who were streaming, trying to learn like what's the best way to do it, how do you do it as a faceless, you know, because obviously y'all see the ad emoji, you don't see my face. How do you, you know, navigate that? What do you do to try and get viewership um, to grow on a platform? And Everyone at that time had said Twitch is the best place to go. Go to Twitch. That's where you should be streaming. That's the best streaming platform. Um, everyone said faceless streamers absolutely could not make it. And I was like, well, I think I can beat those odds because, I mean, I think people can still enjoy content even if you can't see someone's face. I mean, you guys get to see my expressions because of the emoji, which I'm so thankful that I have that and that I figured out how to do this. But, you know, a lot of them were like, you won't succeed if you do that, there was all this list of things that do's and don'ts, you will and you won't, basically. A lot of people said YouTube streaming was going to go nowhere and stuff like that. So I kind of was like weighing all this advice. I got a lot of advice from a lot of different like YouTube channels, just ser searching for, you know, questions I had, like typing literal questions I had into like the search bar on YouTube and then clicking like three videos. So I decided the best place must have been Twitch because a lot of people were saying, you know, no one really likes watching streaming on YouTube and things like that. On YouTube, I had told, hey, I'm gonna be on Twitch live streaming four days, or at the time it was two days a week, but I'll be streaming on Twitch. I hope you all can come out. And a lot of people, it was kind of split. A lot of people were like, wow, that's really cool. I'm gonna jump over there. I'm gonna, you know, go and watch your streams. And then some people were like, well, I don't really like Twitch. I don't have an account over on Twitch. I don't like the way it looks. It's confusing. And that's totally understandable. YouTube has a very, very, almost overly <laughs> simplistic, like layout for, you know, the way, for example, videos look, even streams, it's very overly realistic, though there is a lot of talk they've been working on that. And that's an easier update than some things that Twitch needs to change to make it better for smaller creators. And after a year, you know, we celebrated a year, it was pretty good. I think the followers were much higher than normal that we, like what I would have expected, not normal, but what I would have expected in a year. Um, you know, there was a lot of really, really good things about streaming on Twitch. I learned how to be a better streamer on Twitch. I learned how to interact with my audience better on Twitch. Y'all are so patient with me learning how to do things on Twitch. I learned a lot about streaming in general on Twitch and, um, and content creation, how to grow that type of a platform because on Twitch, there's no really like, like there's no way that uh, smaller streamers can get recommended to you really like they kind of have to go and look by game scroll and browse all the way down to find someone so for someone to find me that was new was always a little surprising because unless I did a lot of social media posts a lot of plugging it in my ASMR videos if you watch those you're probably sick and tired of me saying and I stream on Twitch and the thing pops up because if you don't do that no one will know about your streams you kind of have to market them through uh, like YouTube usually or through other platforms because there's no way for you to just log in and get recommended something you kind of get a browser page but usually it's like the best streamers just keep staying at the top and keep staying the best and smaller streamers do not. That's kind of what I've observed in the past couple months 
on you on Twitch. I've just been kind of watching and observing, and I always try. I'm, I'm always trying to learn how to be better on a platform. And I do the same thing with YouTube. I'm always trying to figure out how to do better and just be better and outdo myself, essentially. Just keep trying to be outdoing myself and make content better for all of you. And so as I've been doing that over the past four, five months, I've started to voice some concern about the stream on Twitch because I was concerned, one, that no one was able to find me like no new people were able to find me a lot of people from youtube did come over but a lot didn't come over because of a lot of different reasons and it's understandable because it's a whole different platform uh people really like to stay on youtube because youtube if you think about it will have streaming it has like all kinds of content all your content is kind of on one app you go on the one app and you can find everything. That's super convenient. So I, I understand a lot of people not going over to Twitch, not knowing it. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on with Twitch. And if they don't know Twitch, that's all they're hearing, right? Is all these outlets saying these things about Twitch. So I completely understand. I completely understand people not wanting to make the switch. That kind of brings us up to the analytics of my channel. I'm not going to share them because I actually don't even think according to contracts or whatever that I'm allowed to share them. But the gist of it is that even though our followage was going up on Twitch, the viewership was going way down, like way down, especially in the past four months. And I'm not trying to be like, y'all weren't coming to my streams. Like that's, y'all have lives, y'all have jobs, y'all have school. It was summer. Like y'all have things you're doing. Like just cause I'm the one sitting at home playing video games doesn't mean you have to be sitting at home with me. Like that's crazy. So I'm not saying that, oh, y'all should have been there. I'm just making an observation that even when like people who are regular coming to my streams weren't there, there was no one else coming in, right? No new traffic. There's not a lot of new people just because of the way that Twitch is with discoverability. There's really no way to get discovered as a smaller streamer. Even if I'm posting this stuff, putting stuff on Twitter, putting stuff like out even on Instagram, like it just wasn't working. And I think there's a lot of factors as to why my content is very different than a lot of other con like not that the games i'm playing is different but like like me not being a physical person or even not being a vtuber sometimes i feel like there's no category like i'm just in the faceless category but there's no like category for faceless streamers and i've noticed faceless streamers on twitch had don't do as well as faceless streamers on youtube and i followed some to kind of in a year they kind of started around the same time and i followed them for a whole year and the ones on youtube have actually grown a lot more than the ones I've seen on Twitch. And I think that's just because YouTube has an algorithm that is starting to recommend streams. A lot of people for some reason keep saying they don't, but I can tell you this summer, I have been recommended more streamers on YouTube than I ever have before. Almost every time I'm searching up on the top, like, what is it when you're looking at YouTube, on the top uh, right, on the top right, there's always a streamer like being recommended to me, especially after I started looking at Pokemon cards and stuff like that on YouTube. There's always someone live up there and it's always someone I've never seen before, which I thought was really interesting. I just noticed a lot, especially over the summer, like something must be different where they are trying to promote streamers much more and all kinds of content. And I think that's really good. I think a lot of people may not have noticed that because a lot of people keep saying that doesn't happen, but it actually, I have seen it happen multiple times. I've found whole new YouTube channels and streamers because I was recommended a live stream while they were live. It's kind of crazy. I, that never has happened to me on Twitch in my life if I've been recommended a streamer and clicked on it. It's usually through the streamer interacting with another streamer that I found an, another one from Twitch or it's from YouTube. I've even found small streamers on YouTube through the algorithm alone. So just from seeing that and experiencing that as a viewer myself, I was like, I think it might be better to make the switch to YouTube, then all my audience on YouTube will feel comfortable already coming to a plat, like moving to a new channel and on a platform that they're comfortable with. I just feel bad for the people we made a community with on Twitch, though a lot of you have come from YouTube anyway, and a lot of you have said, you'll come with me over to YouTube because you just enjoy the streams, which I appreciate so, so much. It's made the decision a little bit easier, though I've been weighing this decision so, so much and doing so much research through my analytics, really making decisions. And it really comes down to, I think on Twitch, I've kind of hit the threshold that I'll hit for now, just because of the nature of my content being kind of faceless, kind of the lack of searchability, being such a small streamer, um, 
the running the VOD channel, like I won't have to run that anymore because I can just have the streams be on the U this YouTube channel that you're watching this on right now. Um, Cause every night I was sitting and just downloading and re-uploading and downloading and re-uploading streams. And that's just like a lot of time. I wouldn't have to be sitting there doing that if it just goes on the YouTube channel. So that is a little thing that'll be more convenient. There's a lot of pros to it. I weighed them a lot, pros and cons. This isn't cause again, streamers have signed contracts because I'm a small streamer. There's no way a large streamer signing a contract with YouTube should make me transfer. I specifically am looking at my situation. Um, it, what all that tells me is YouTube signing these bigger creators to me says, if I don't like the UI, which I don't really like the UI, they're gonna change it probably. Cause these streamers are not gonna come over and then the UI is just gonna stay this way. They, we've been told they're working on it by other people who have been signed, like Valkyrie has said, uh, or Valkyrie has said that, yeah, they've been working on it, they've been fixing it, and I believe they probably will. We got clips recently, you know, they're gonna work on it. It'll take time. YouTube's gonna take their time making sure that it's right, making sure that it works properly before it's released to the public, but I'm okay waiting for that because in the meantime, I'm gonna be way more discoverable everyone from the youtube audience or more people from the youtube audience should be more comfortable coming over here it'll probably even get recommended to them if they're already following my other channel which is really cool um it'll be kind of cool to keep everything in the same place for now so my plan is to stream on twitch for the rest of this month of september because a lot of you are subscribed and i feel bad kind of like woo, one year subscribe and now i'm out bye like that's sus so <laughs> what i'm gonna do don't renew your members your your uh subscriptions on twitch for the month of october just cancel them we will eventually get membership on this youtube channel once we hit a thousand hours you know once we reach the goal to be partnered here on this channel which i don't think it'll take too too long honestly um once we reach that goal, then spicy dumplings, y'all can come back. We'll make the memberships come back. I can even make them cheaper on YouTube, which is really, really a really good option because sometimes I felt bad that it was a level like set price um, on Twitch, but now I can kind of make all different levels. We can have all the emotes. We can actually have more emotes come in compared to what we could. We, we only had the one emote on Twitch, but on YouTube, but you can get up to like three if you have like five people or something like as a member. So that's sick. We're going to have way more emotes. It's going to be really... A really cool experience once we get there but we do have to kind of like wait till we get there so for the month of september two two days on twitch two days on youtube is what i'm going to try if i end up just enjoying being on youtube better i may cut it a little early but i'm going to try as hard as i can to stay on twitch for the entirety of september so that everyone who paid for a for a subscription can just keep enjoying the streams because you paid for it and then hopefully they'll all run out and then we can all move over to youtube really comfortably um and everyone can just chill and we'll just get back into to the grind. I mean, we're going to be, I'm going to be grinding it up, be grinding two different platforms for that time, but that's okay. I'm excited to do it. Video content on this channel will not change that much. I'm still going to try and get one video a week up. Um, you know, there may be some bumps in the road with the YouTube streams because it's a newer platform. It, well, it's a different platform, not new, but it's a different platform. There's a different way things have to be set up in my OBS and stuff for the alerts and things to pop up. So that's all probably going to be kind of weird for the first couple streams until it's all figured out. So just bear with me. And I actually kind of want to apologize because I feel bad that I kind of kind of alienated that whole part of my uh, of my audience. I kind of feel bad about it. I don't know. And I feel bad about leaving because I really love streaming on Twitch. I just feel like I can't grow on there the way that I want to. Um, so we're going to check out YouTube and see how it goes. Maybe in a year we'll do another kind of, uh, well, maybe we'll compare everything and we'll kind of see how good one year on YouTube was compared to one year on Twitch was. I don't know. It might be interesting. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely subscribe, hit the like button because there's going to be a ton of content on this channel from here on out. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Sorry I didn't stream today. I made this video instead and I decided to play Psychonauts 2 all day. I'm not going to lie. I'm addicted to that game. It's all I've been doing. <laughs> That's all I've been doing other like I've been working and then doing that. So I don't know. It's a good game. Check it out. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your week. I'll probably see you all tomorrow on Twitch and then Thursday, Friday. I will be here on YouTube for the first time in about a year. It's been a while. So definitely subscribe. Stay tuned for that. Remember to stay safe. Hug your loved ones. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.